Hello everybody, and I th welcome back to Fuddle Electric Elevators, and today we're going to be looking at my fire alarm demo board that I basically made. So, pretty much, I pretty much made this with uh, some smoke alarms and some fire alarms. Oh, I'll show you the back. Or the James Fire Alarm Demonstration Board. That was my old channel's name. I also put this on my board just because I had those. And the hardware system, battery powered smoke alarms. Anyways. I have this plugged in. You see, that's the adapter for the Fire Alarm Testing Board. Now I have, so this right here, you guys remember this? It's a uh, Kida KN-LB-LB2 carbon monoxide detector. I find these pretty cool. Because I, I like these alarms because carbon monoxide puts you to sleep. And if you're asleep while this alarm's going off, it could kill you. I don't want that to happen to any of you guys. But anyway, and of, over here we have a very, very cheap, not recommended at all, Kitty i9040. It's really cheap, as I just mentioned. Here the LED flashes. And cover up the speaker. I forgot to put tape on this one. Basically what it sounds like. Viral at least goes off. There's my elevator button. Which I'll probably be explaining in another video. Looks like this one's the E because of the bigger mounting bracket. Oh, whoops, it's upside down. And here is the Firelight BG12 with the hex lock key feature. And I have it hooked up to the System Sensor L series or the System Sensor Spectral Alert or System Sensor P2RL. Fire alarm, horn strobe, and this is not securely on. I know I have to fix that at some point. Something wrong with the screws, but it still works as it should. And we'll pull it. That gets loud. Well, anyway, that's my fire alarm demo board that I built myself. And hope you all enjoyed it. And that will be it. 